Good morning, remote learners. Today is Thursday, February the 4th. It is a music day. I want to talk a little bit more about Gamer Week and give you some arguments and some reasons on why video games can be good for you. Did you know that they can sometimes, if you take them to an extreme, have some very negative effects? But there are 10 reasons here on why if you limit and balance and have some moderation, video games might be something to consider. So the first one, video games may slow down aging, so it'll keep you young and youthful. The second one, you get better decision-making skills from playing video games. The third one, they can help not hurt your eyesight, according to some studies. Number four, video games can make you less antisocial by playing with other people and coming together on a team. And then number five, games can enhance your ability to learn. And that's what we're all about in remote learning, is letting you have every tool available to be the very best person you can be in a well-rounded sense. So those are the first five. Here's the second five. Um, video games can help your hand-eye coordination, will make you a better surgeon someday. Then number seven, they can improve your focus and your attention, which we all need to have help with in this day and age of learning on a screen. Number eight, video games may help treat depression, keep you positive and hopeful. Number nine, video games can help you stay fit. If you play the right ones, you can get fit. And then number 10, video games can help couples or friendships by having something that you can come together on. So just some ideas to consider as a balance to having everything work out in moderation. Um, some of the top characters some, from some video games, so you know Link from Legends of Zelda is a great character. Mario, of course, is a great one, and Princess Peach. So fun to have some characters. An old school one, Pac-Man is great. Pikachu, such a good one and Sonic the Hedgehog. I would love to hear what your favorite characters are and even see what some of your favorite games are. So this website takes us through the 20 timeless video games. So here's some ideas from a website called Game Design. Pac-Man is number 20, the most popular. And then Tetris, I'm a huge Tetris fan, so great game there. Next is Wii Sports, kind of an older one now, but when I was teaching, we got a Wii in our classroom. We thought we were like the top dog, so great. Then Sonic the Hedgehog is number 17. The Sims are number 16. Diablo 3 is number 15. Super Mario Brothers is number 14. And Super Smash Brothers, this was one of my favorite college games, was number 13. Pokemon, number 12. Number 11 is The Legend of Zelda. Then Metal Gear Solid, Halo, Final Fantasy, Call of Duty, Angry Birds, huge fan of that one, Skyrim, Grand Theft Auto, and then World of Warcraft. Number two is Counter-Strike, and the number one most popular game is Minecraft. And I know we've got a lot of Minecraft out there. So I hope you have a great day, everybody. Keep learning, have a great Thursday, and we will talk soon. Stay brave, creative, and strong.